Welcome to Devotions with Stoney. I am Stoney Kalango. Thank you for joining us in today's devotion. Um, we've been on our series in our, devo- in our devotions that's titled Friend of God. And for today's devotion, the title is God's Friends Speak to and Listen to God. God's friends speak to God and they listen to God. God's friends communicate with God. God's friends spend time in communication with God, in fellowship with God. How do we do that? Prayer, meditation, prayer and meditating on His Word and on His promises and on who He is and what He has done for us and what He says He will do for us. Amen. God's friends speak to God and God's friends listen to God. Let's read a few scriptures, shall we? We read the scripture on the the first day of our series, um, but let's read it again for another uh, context. Exodus chapter 33, and we're going to read verse 11. It says, So the Lord spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. He spoke to Moses face to face as a man would speak to his friends. One of the signs of the friendship between Moses and God, or I should say between God and Moses, because God is always the originator of the relationship between himself and man. One of the signs, one of the major signs, according to the Bible of the friendship, the close intimate relationship between God and Moses, his servant, was the fact that they spoke together like a friend speaks to a friend. They spoke to each other like they were friends to each other, which they were. They spoke to each other like you would speak to your spouse or you would speak to your family member. You know, hello, friend. You know, they may start a conversation like, oh, how are you doing today? Hello, Moses. Maybe God will say to Moses, hello, Moses, how are you doing today? How is that hip? Oh, let me touch it right now and heal it completely. How are my people doing? How are the children of Israel doing? Have they been complaining again? Uh, Have they started lacking faith in me again? And, And Moses would give a report of what the children of Israel had did to the Lord. They would communicate. They would communicate with, Moses would communicate with God about God's heart. And God would speak to Moses about his heart. He was working some things. They said, that's how God wants us to have a relationship, a friendship with him. As if a man is speaking to his friend. So God wants us to speak to him and he wants to speak to us and he wants us to hear his beautiful, amazing, powerful voice. Amen. Let's read another scripture. Um, Let's read Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. It says, God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his son, Jesus Christ, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat at the right hand side of the majesty on high. So, what this scripture was saying was, in the past, God spoke to his people through prophets. Right, he spoke to the children of Israel through Moses, like we saw in Exodus chapter 33, verse 11. He spoke to the children of Israel through various prophets, the major prophets, the minor prophets. Major prophets like Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, and minor prophets like Nahum and Obadiah and Hosea and, you know, um, um, Zephaniah and Zechariah, all these prophets, right? He spoke his word through prophets, prophets like Elijah, Elisha. Uh, uh, um, uh, prophet Samuel when he was a judge to the people of Israel Um, the prophet Nathan who God sent to go rebuke David for committing the sin of adultery and murder 
God in the past spoke through prophets, but the Bible says now he doesn't need to speak through a prophet to you. I'm not saying God does not speak through prophets to us in today. Actually, I believe that he still speaks to us. I think the Bible confirms that. But that's another subject for another day. But what I'm trying to say is God, it says in this day, God speaks to us through his son, Jesus Christ, and through the Holy Spirit whom he has given to you. If you're a child of God, if you're born again, you've got the Holy Spirit living on the inside of you. And God wants to speak through you, through Jesus, his son, and through the Holy Spirit, whom Jesus promised to be, that he will be a comforter to us. He wants to speak to you. You want to be a friend of God? You've got, how are you going to be a friend of God if you don't speak to God? And how are you going to be a friend of God if you don't hear God? A major sign of your friendship with your friend is that you speak to them and that you hear from them. You listen and you speak. Same thing with God. A friend of God speaks to God in prayer and in meditation on His Word and listens to God in the same. Amen. Let's read another scripture, shall we? Amen. I, I'm loving this devotion series because it's, it's so profound to the Christian walk. Amen. Let's read Psalms chapter 145. And we're going to read verse 18 and 19. It says, The Lord is near to all those who call upon Him and to all who call upon Him in truth. Verse 19, He will fulfill the desire of those who fear Him. He will also hear their cry and save them. This is talking about friends of God. Most importantly, I want you to listen to verse 18 again. The Lord is near. He's close to those who call upon Him. So that means the Lord is call, he's close to His friends. Who are His friends? We Christians and believers are God's friends. And the Bible says the Lord is near to His friends. One of the signs of friendship is what? That you're close to them, that you know stuff about them, and they know stuff about you. You guys, you know, he's my best pal. You know, you, you talk about your, 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 your buddies. You know, man, that guy, he's my best pal. He, he gets me, he understands me, she understands me, she gets me. We're friends, we spend time together, we talk to each other, we listen to each other. They, they listen to what I have to say. They are close to me, they really know me. How do you know someone? You cannot know someone if you're not close to them. You cannot truly know someone if you're not close to them, if you're not near to them. The Lord says here, the Lord is near to all those who call on Him. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says in Genesis, from this time, man called upon the name of the Lord. So if you want to be close to God, if you want to be a friend of God, if you want to be near to the Lord, what do you do? You call upon the Lord. For it is those who call upon the the Lord that are near to God. Amen. Let's read one more scripture as we round off today's devotion. Let's read 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, and I'm reading this in the English Standard Version. It says, casting all your anxieties. Another version would say, casting all your worries. That's a synonym for anxieties. All your worries on Him. On who? The Lord Jesus. Because He cares for you. Your friend, the Lord God Almighty, cares for you. Your friend, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, cares for you. He cares for you. He, he wants to deal with your worries. He wants to hear your fears. He wants to hear your pain. He wants to hear about your heartache. He wants to hear about what you went through through the day. He, he wants to communicate with you. He wants you to speak to Him in prayer, but He wants you to also listen to what He has to say. He wants to comfort you. He wants to be your friend. He wants to be near you. He wants you to cast your anxieties on Him. He wants you to cast your fears on Him. He wants you to cast your worries on Him. What is that thing that bugs you? What is that thing that worries you? What is that thing that keeps you up awake at night? What is that thing that troubles you? What is that need you're bothering yourself with that you can't seem? What is that puzzle that you can't seem to solve on your own? The Lord God Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, He wants you, He wants to hear from you. He wants to hear about your worries and your fears and your doubts. 
He wants to hear about your pain, your troubles, your sorrows. He wants to hear about your joys and your, your, your days of happiness. He wants to be your friend. He wants you to cast your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Why does he care for you? Because you are a friend of his. You are a friend of God. God's friends listen to God and God's friends speak to God. They commune with God. They have fellowship, daily fellowship with God. So you want to be a friend of God? You've got to know that every day you've got to be able to go to God in prayers with all your worries and your anxieties, cast it on Him. But also, don't just talk, talk, talk the whole time you are in your moment of prayer. Listen. Have a quiet time. That's why we call time of fellowship with God a quiet time. Have a quiet time with the Lord. Meditate on His Word. Listen to what He has to say to you for that day. Because it's in His words that you will receive peace. It's in His words that you will receive comfort for all of your troubles. It's in His word that you will receive the joy and calmness you need in your heart to still your storm. God's friends speak to God and they listen to what he has to say. Just like you speak to your friends and you listen to what they have to say. God wants to do the same for you, oh believer. Amen. That's our devotion for today. God bless you for joining us in today's devotion. In tomorrow's devotion, we continue our, on our, continue our series on friend of God. I want to be a friend of God. How about you? Thank you. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I ask you today to hit the subscribe button. If you've not liked our page on Facebook, we'll do so. And also don't forget to like this video and this devotion for today so it can get recommended to others because that's how the algorithm of these technological platforms work. God bless you and I'll see you in tomorrow's devotion. Bye for now.